In this video, I want to talk quickly about certificate authorities, self-signed certificates, and SSL chains. In the future, I will produce a more complete tutorial on transport layer security and secure socket layer, but for now, I'll keep things brief. This video is actually a follow-up to my video on setting up Elasticsearch and Kibana with self-signed certificates, but what I'm about to say applies generally to any self-signed certificate. So let's get started. A lot of people have asked why do they see this screen in a web browser when they visit their Kibana website or websites that use self-signed certificates. To understand this, you need to understand the concept of certificate authorities. And we have to understand how certificate authorities like Let's Encrypt, DigiCert, GeoTrust, and many others, we have to understand how they actually issue certificates. Let me bring up terminal windows to two servers. This is my server running Elasticsearch. And this is my server running Kibana. If you recall in our video where we set up Elasticsearch with self-signed certificates, we acted as our own certificate authority on our Elasticsearch server by creating some files with this command right here. USR share Elasticsearch bin Elasticsearch hyphen search util CA hyphen hyphen PEM. The Elasticsearch cert util command generated two files. The ca.key file is a private key which should always be kept secret and never shared. The ca.cert file is our certificate. The certificate can be made public. The ca.cert file contains our public key information that describes us as the certificate authority and other meta information. Let's call both of these files our root certificate authority files. One of the main functions of a certificate authority is to sign SSL certificates. This means that when we create new SSL certificate for various fully qualified domain names, we can leave a signature in the new certificates to identify who issued it. So when we created certificates for elastic.evermite.net and kibana.evermite.net, we used these commands. And let me just find them and paste them into a file. The first command generated SSL certificates for elastic.evermite.net and the second command generated SSL certificates for kibana.evermite.net. Notice we mentioned the root files of our certificate authority in each case. This basically means we signed certificates of elastic.evermite.net and kibana.evermite.net with our certificate authority. And now that the root certificate and these client certificates are related to each other, we've created an SSL chain. We call it a chain because some certificate authority organizations like to use the root certificate to sign an intermediate certificate. Then they will use the intermediate certificate to sign the client certificate. And that would make a chain of three certificates. Anyway, we won't go too deeply into that in this video. For now, our client certificates have been signed by the root certificate in the SSL chain, so it's just a chain of two certificates. You can generate SSL certificates without signing them, but one of the main reasons we want to sign certificates with a certificate authority is because a certificate authority can keep track of which certificates have been issued and which have been revoked. So when Firefox visits kibana.evermite.net, the Kibana web server will give kibana.crt, which is our SSL certificate with a public key, to Firefox. Firefox will see that kibana.crt has been signed by a certificate authority. So then Firefox will try to find the public key of the certificate authority by going here. So go to settings, security, scroll down, and click on view certificates. This is a list of root certificates of all the major certificate authorities. Most web browsers and operating systems will come installed with this list. Once Firefox finds the public key of the certificate authority that signed the kibana.crt file, then Firefox will do some complicated math and computation to validate that kibana.crt has a valid signature. Firefox might also contact our certificate authority and check if the certificate is in good standing to make sure that it has not been revoked. But of course, Firefox would not be able to find the public key of our certificate authority among this list. We never gave the public key of our root certificate to Firefox. It still resides on our Elasticsearch server. 
And this is why we see this error message. And in fact, you'll see that the issue exists for elastic.evermite.net as well, because it is signed by the same certificate authority, which Firefox is not aware of. The same issue exists when I curl the Kibana URL. This error is saying that Linux does not have the root certificate of the certificate authority that signed Kibana.crt. If I go to the etc SSL certs directory, I can see that Linux comes installed with the root certificates of these major certificate authorities and our root certificate file is not in this directory. That's why curl can't validate the SSL certificate of kibana.evermite.net. So I'm going to run curl again, but this time I'm going to state the exact path of where curl can find the root certificate of our certificate authority. And this time you can see that curl successfully downloaded the login page of the Kibana website. So to get rid of the error message in Firefox, we just need to give Firefox the root certificate of our certificate authority. And I made an empty folder here, and I'm just gonna open up Windows SCP and copy the ca.crt file from our Elasticsearch server into this folder. All right, it looks like everything is here now. So now I just need to open up Firefox. And now I'm going to import this root certificate. I'll just say yes to each of these. And now our root certificate should be among this authority list. Let me just look for it. Ah, here it is, Elastic Certificate Tool Auto-Generated. And now if I go to kibana.evermite.net and hit refresh, I can see that the certificate for kibana.evermite.net is verified. And because elastic.evermite.net is signed by the same certificate authority, things should be verified here as well. Great, the certificate for elastic.evermite.net is also verified. Now that we got everything working, I want to mention one more thing. Most of the Elastic documentation speaks to making our own certificate authority and creating our own SSL certificates. You can see now that with a public certificate authority like Let's Encrypt, DigiCert, GeoTrust, and others, their root certificates come bundled with most operating systems and client applications. By being our own certificate authority and establishing our own root certificates, nothing is automatic. You have to intentionally, specifically, and explicitly install root certificates on machines that need to trust each other. This act of being intentional, specific, and explicit arguably makes self-signed certificates more secure than the certificates signed by public certificate authorities when configuring the Elastic Stack platform. And that's basically all there is to get any client to trust certificates that have been signed by our own certificate authority. If anything was unclear, leave a comment to this video or contact us through our website. We'll see you in the next video.